All right, so let's say you're the kind of person who likes to wear all black all day, every day, 365 days a year. But you're you're not really the, the edgelord sort. You're more of the introspective, intellectual, emo, wizard. I, I got good news for you. Notre Fate. All right, we're going to go over Notre Fate's uh, basic strategies, strengths, and weaknesses. Notre Fate, right off the beginning, you'll see he's got balanced stats, 9 and 9, pretty good. Uh, he doesn't really lean more towards offense or defense, at least not in his stats build. So let's take a look at his special abilities and see what makes him unique. Azure Eye, as the leader of the Azure Eye Rebellion, his signature ability, Azure Eye, actually lets him peek into someone's fate, into their final destiny. Gameplay-wise, this actually lets you uh, force your opponents to show them your cards. So this is not an action, it's an ability. So that means once per round, it does not even use up your turn, you just once per round have a right to look at someone else's cards. Now, so with the basic gameplay rules, if you're looking at someone else's cards, you're not allowed to show those to anybody else because only you have that ability. But remember, Galton is all about that table talk. You can actually tell other people at the table what you see, like, okay, guys, we got to look out for that drain blossom. Or, uh, yeah, you can lie about it. Oh, no, guys, he's got Robo Army Onslaught. Get your shields up. Yeah, I have a shield cracker, and I want you to put your shield up because I'm coming for you. Uh, he's really good at looking ahead into, so, into other players' cards and then using that to your long-term advantage. So you're going to scope out what your opponents are capable of and then try to plan ahead to put the table into just where you want it to be. This actually combos really well with his special action, his special attack, Burning Shadows. So Burning Shadows is only a hit to attack. It's a dark attack. But what's special about it, every time you play it, its power doubles. So that thing is going to very quickly get out of hand and start to scare your opponents. Uh, usually when he when I play it, I'll set a multiplier off to the side so it's not in my VP. So okay, I've used it once, twice, three times. Um, also, if you download the free Galatune app available on any mobile device, uh, you, it'll actually let you write custom notes to help you keep track of what's going on too. But uh, so strategically, he, he kind of wants to hide in the shadows, read other people's cards, wait for an opening while quietly ramping up power and then going in for an overwhelming attack. Now, the problem is you do want to make sure if you're running a Notre Fate that you try to stay under the radar because if you become too powerful too quickly, you're going to uh, cue off your opponents and all of a sudden everybody's looking at you and ruining your strategies. Since he is kind of built around... Uh, creating setup. Uh, that's really where he shines. So if you're wanting to shut down a Notre Fate, uh, usually your best option is to just go on the offensive and knock him out before he's able to uh, predict you and move you into a bad situation. Um, or actually, since he doesn't really have a particular offense or defense build, a lot of times uh, my strategy for countering a Notre Fate is to just kind of ignore him. Honestly, I mean, if he's just going to sit there and strategize and look for an opening while well, while he's spending all this time thinking, I'm going to go on an onslaught and kill other players. So, for instance, if we're in a three player battle here, in instead of worrying too much about going after Notre Fate, I mean, I'm going to keep him on my radar for sure. You don't you don't want to let him. Uh, start strategizing and building up plots too quickly, but um, you don't want to lose track of that. But really, I'm going to ignore him and just start scoring off of the other players while he's kind of stuck being ultra introspective and thinking in his own head. So that can be the downside if uh, someone's not a very experienced no Fate player. If they get too wrapped up in his character, uh, they'll, they'll start thinking too far ahead and kind of lose their mind in the moment and not remember that in Galatune, each round is going to tip the battle into a different direction. So yes, he can look ahead in the future, but it's important to be present in the present as well. 
So that's Notre Fate. Hope you enjoyed him. Let us know in the comments what character you want to see next.